Uh, morning everybody, Mr. H1 here. Happy Friday to you guys. Yeah, I'm just leaving out a pit boys. I don't to work because I had to go you know, get some gloves. I just ran out of gloves. Well, actually, the the retail price of the gloves is like uh, $14.99, but I uh, got down uh, $5 or less, so I'm uh, having a good deal, and I saved myself 5 bucks on those gloves. Yeah, because I was thinking gloves are like, you know, $14, $15. They're like overpriced. Yeah. Yeah, so anyway, I, I found out what's the problem with, with uh, El Econ. Uh, there was no gas issue, no water in the tank. Thank, uh, thank God it wasn't. Is uh, went and took it in uh, uh, this uh, Clayton shop for uh, fuel system cleaning, the three step. Took it out, but uh, there was like nothing in the tank whatsoever. And then took uh, the Sheets corporate office and stuff, and turns out it wasn't that. But I was just hoping I didn't accidentally pour it in, uh, you know, E85, because usually it makes the vehicle run like shit if, you know, it's supposed to come full of. Uh, of uh, was he regular lid? Yeah. Then the next day, I did some research, and I'm thinking, well, it turns out is the you know back pressure. I think what's causing the back pressure? Well, it turns out the back pressure at low speeds. It turns out is the the glass pack mufflers deteriorating. Yeah. So the glass pack muffler, uh, it's supposed to be a straight through design. It just goes straight. But like you got baffles over, yeah, they look like little holes inside of there in that wall all around that tube, and it's packed in with uh, fiberglass, so that's why they call it glass pack. But it turns out the fiberglass, you know, it's no good anymore. It isn't any good anymore. Uh, that's why I'm at, and uh, so that's why it makes it deteriorating. Well, of course, it's been deteriorated, but that's why it doesn't run, you know, why well, it's not revving like it's supposed to. It sounds like it's sputtering or stumbling, but that's like the back pressure of it. Yeah, so what I'm going to do is probably get the mufflers replaced. I just had these replaced not even a year ago, and they're already going bad. And I can't think if it had like a one-year warranty or not. I had to look at the receipt. Because if, if they do, then I'm just going to have them swap out for a uh, dummy glass packs all it is is uh the glass pack you know there's no baffles no uh fiberglass inside it's just a you know a pipe it's like a straight pipe but you have a glass pack muffler on the outside to make it look like that you do have a muffler when you get inspection they have the same thing for Kelly Verse too they make it so they make it look like it's factory looking that you couldn't even tell the difference so it was tampered with Yeah, but I didn't want to do that because I didn't, well, for the good of the first, because I didn't want that service engine tune light to go off and I had a bypass the system and all that other crap. And it would be much too loud. Yeah, so. It, well, muffler I was looking at. Well, it's a dual in, dual out. And, well, it's two. I think it's a two and a quarter inch. Yeah, so I'm just hoping it'll fit inside, you know, wherever I had those glass packs at. Because the elevator, sorry, I had to rub my eye. I had something in my eye. Uh, the only thing, you know, that the the pipes are spread apart, but on those uh, inlets and outlets on that muffler, I don't know, the elevator spread further apart. I had to see. Well, I saw they have in, well, it's the thrush welded muffler. It's a chamber muffler. It's just, I had that uh, muffler on my Chrysler one time that I just had like, well, the, the, the single in, the single out. And then, uh, so I had to get a, probably get those swapped. And it's not a bad price on uh, some of the racing equipment. It's only like $36, which ain't bad. So I just ordered that. And I just have the muffler shop that just to swap out this muffler some welded professionally. Yeah, I prefer to have my, my exhaust uh, professionally welded instead of using exhaust clamps. Because I had a bad experience with that with the Chrysler. And then, well, a year later after I did it, you know, swap out the mufflers. This is about, well, yeah, it was five years ago that I swap out the mufflers. A year later, that's when I just got the, the front of the muffler welded and just have the exhaust hanger on the back of the muffler and then just got like a screw on the uh, turn down tip chrome. But, well, it goes from, you know, the inlet of the tip, uh, two and a quarter inch to uh, three inch. 
So it's a little bit louder, but it sounds a lot smoother. Yeah. So hopefully I get that, you know, problem situated. Oh, and then another thing, uh, well, I'm going to be starting a new job, so uh, I'll put like a two weeks notice. So this job, yeah, I've been here, I've been there for over a year. It's just that I wasn't liking the shop hours. Yeah, I, I didn't have time for any, anything that I had to do. I'll be going at 11 to 8 on every day. Well, this one I'll be going to, going in from uh, 7.30 to 4. Yeah, it's a little earlier, and it's a little closer, especially if I get to move to the you know, Clayton will still, well, it won't be as, won't be that far. I mean, I know some shortcuts around there. Yeah, I mean, I'm just going to be driving, you know, on Raleigh almost every single day with all the traffic and the kind of customers we have. Well, no offense, but, I mean, I kind of like, uh, you know, you know, working on domestic cars and uh, Japanese cars. Like, I have no problem with that. It's just the only problem is, is the European cars. You know, stuff they put in there to complicate everything. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong, but, okay, well, when you take off a tire on, you know, the European car, you got these lug bolts that just bolts onto the wheel, like on the brake calipers. Everywhere else, it just doesn't stick out, so you at least, you know, guide the wheel on to, and just put the lug nut on. You know, had a bolt. Yeah, but I saw Land Rover has the same way we have with, with bolts, but I think the reason why that, I think Ford owns part of uh, Land Rover, so that's that's why they're in that style, you know. Yeah. Because I, I was the, yeah, because like, you know, five, six years I was thinking about, yeah, maybe I'll get a Volkswagen, but then I saw that they had that kind of design. They make economy cars, but their parts are really expensive. Don't get me wrong. I mean, especially if you order from uh, Black Forest Industries or the West German Garage, it's still going to be expensive. So I can, I can buy a Volkswagen. Yeah. So. Yeah, especially you know I got, I was halfway saved up for, uh, you know, for the truck I want to get. Yeah. So I'll probably have that. Well, especially with the new job, with more money, I'll probably have that money, probably, I'll save it up until, uh, like maybe this fall, maybe September or October. But, you know, I have a fast process, and be able to get the full membership. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, th this will be all for uh, right now, but just uh, stay tuned uh, for uh, for the next episode. Uh, we're going to have karaoke night. Yeah, which is tonight, but uh, this is just uh, stay tuned for it. Yeah, so we'll be going back to karaoke night. Yeah, so uh, we'll see you then.